Navisworks provides us with a variety of different ways to select objects. We can find these selection tools under the Home tab and Select and Search. Let's start by moving our cursor up and then clicking on the word Select. Under the word Select, we have two different options. One is just called Select, and this allows us to select on objects one at a time. The next option is a select box. This allows us to window around certain objects, and then those objects will be selected. Let's start with select. The object that I'm going to pick will be this tree, which is this green round circle here in the background. By clicking on it, we can now see that it turns blue, which is the indication that an object is selected. Now, if I wanted to select on multiple objects instead of just one object, I could do that by once again clicking on the word select and now changing that to be a select box. Click and hold your mouse button down right in the area of where my cursor is currently at. While holding that mouse button down, window around all those trees at the top of the model. Then let go of your mouse button once all those trees have been windowed around. We can now see that all the trees and everything that was inside of that box has now been highlighted in a blue. This means that those objects have now been selected inside of our Navisworks model. To deselect those objects, you can just hit the escape key on the keyboard to remove the selection. Next, come up here to where Mine currently says Invert Selection. Right next to these words, you can see that there's a down arrow. If you click on that down arrow, you will see a variety of different commands. One is Select All, another is Select None, and the third is Invert Selection. If you choose Select All, that will select everything inside of this Navisworks project. If you choose Select None, it deselects everything inside of the project. And if you choose Invert Selection, this will invert the selection set. So if nothing has been selected, then everything will get selected. To see this again, if we hit Escape on the keyboard, then move over here to where it has the word Select, click on Select Box, and window around these objects in the upper right hand corner. Everything that was inside of the box has now been highlighted. Now if we do an invert selection, this means everything but those objects that were inside of the box has now been selected. To deselect these objects, once again you can hit the escape key on the keyboard and that will deselect. What I would like to do now is show the save selection command. But to do that, we once again need to select on some objects. So again, let's window around some objects. Then after windowing around those objects, let go of the button. You'll see all those objects have now been selected. And if we want to save this selection so that we can select it again in the future, we can come up here to Save Selection. It will ask us to give it a name. Right now it's just called Selection Set. And I will name this R Selection Set. Then I'll click out here in this blue area. We can see that right now that it's no longer selected. But to reselect these objects, where it says Sets, you can click, and this will have a listing of all the selection sets that you've created. You can click on R Selection Set, and now we can see that those objects have once again been selected. I'll hit Escape on the keyboard to get out of the selection set. The next thing I'd like to show is the selection tree. If we click on Selection Tree, this brings up our selection tree. If we click on Selecting Objects, this will highlight everything. If we had multiple different models loaded in here, and each of them had been here on the list, we could have selected on each one of those different NWD files or NWF files, and then we would have seen each one of them highlight as we selected them. We can expand this out by clicking on the little plus. Here we can see that there are two different NWD files that have been loaded into this project. 
If we select on one of them, we will see that half the model highlights. If we select on the other one, we can see the other half of the model highlights. If we expand out one of these categories, in this case, merge our copy, then click on the abbey.dwg file, then the church up here, the abbey, has now been highlighted on. We can expand this out further by clicking on the little plus. Here we have the different layers that made up that DWG file. And we can see the walls, the doors, the roofing surfaces. And by clicking on the appropriate thing, such as the abbey wall, these are now highlighted in blue, the walls of the abbey. So we can continue to refine this down based off of the objects that are selected in the selection tree. There's also an option here that says Select Same. This means it will select similar objects that have the same properties through the model. If we click on Select Same, it will then ask, do you want to select by the same name, the same type of objects, by the same materials, or all the objects that happen to share the same parameters in the timeliner? And you could pick any of these. In this case, I'm just going to do the same type. Now it's selected everything that's the same type of object, which in this case happens to be an object on an AutoCAD layer. Hit Escape again on the keyboard to get out of your selection set. And there's one other kind of selection that I like to do, and we can see it right here. Earlier I had typed in roof, but we can type in something else here in this box. For instance, if we wanted to type in walls, we could then click the little search icon here, and it will look through everything here in the selection tree for something named walls. In this case, it couldn't find anything, so I'll just click on no. And instead of walls with an S, I'll now get rid of the S. Once again, I'll do a search, and we can see that it's found the first thing here in the selection tree that has wall in its name. If we continue to do a quick find, it will begin to cycle through each of these drawing files, and we can see those expanding out here inside of the selection tree. So if you know what it is that you've named your objects, and you name your objects correctly in their original models, you can begin to filter out and find the different kinds of objects that you need to select on by typing in the correct name here in the dialog box.